Just another grunt, I'm afraid. Prophet could have told us more. At least we have the nano gear intact. That's all that really matters. The rest I'll have to improvise once I'm in the suit. Ah, my young friend. I had hoped to spare you consciousness here, but the nano gear is not proving cooperative. Let's get started. Systems. You've got to go back. You're our best hope. Twisted motherfucker. You knew. You knew the suits were symbiotic. You knew what they do to my men. You turned them into dead men walking. I turned them into post-human warriors. You're a soldier. Think of it as necessary sex. You lied to us. Perhaps I was economical with the truth, yes. But what choice did I have? What choice do you have now? The Seth are coming, Prophet. Soon. You think we'll defeat them with ordinary human soldiers? This isn't a war ordinary humans can win. This is the future. Death's an inconvenience now. Nothing more. We are all dead men walking. The suit's rejecting the rift! It's overloading! Stop him! Kill him if you have to, but don't damage the nano gear. Headshots only. Nice try, Tin Man. Now say goodnight. Tara, no! Tara, listen to me! It's okay, you're safe. I'm CIA, Special Operations Group. Recruited out of the SEALs three years ago. <coughs> I'm the one who ordered your squad to bring Prophet and Gould out, yeah. Screwed now, of course. All right, look, there'll be time to explain later. Right now, the Ceph are breaking into this place and we gotta get Hargreave out. The man is insane. He thinks he's the only competent human being on the planet. But he's got vital knowledge on the Ceph. He stole their technology a hundred years ago at Tunguska. He's been working on it ever since. Three years ago, he was the puppet master behind the mess at Ling Shan that killed my father. He's got some kind of plan for confronting the invasion, and we need to know what it is. He's holed up in the executive level, through that way. Heavy security. No one gets in to see him face to face. Believe me, I've tried. You're gonna have to break him. I'll get up to the helipad and secure a transport. Bring him out and meet me there. We fly him out, we take him someplace we can make him talk. I'll stay on comms and keep you posted. Now go! Tactical options available. Area's clear.
I see something. Take on the weapons he bought us, wear his armor, 
Enter the labyrinth and confront the Minotaur. But now, you, you will have to finish what Prophet began. Get out of there, Alcatraz. No, wait. There is a final piece of the puzzle you need. There on the desk. Take the syringe. syringe. Take it. Yes, there. You just got the direction. The key to all gates. think I'm based in this cesspit city because I like it here? You were waiting for them. Why didn't you warn someone? Warn who? Humanity at large? Look what you've done, old man! They're here! You That's right, Nathan. The owners are back. Waking the systems, firing up the boiler, back to spring clean the old family residence. And not much liking what they found festering behind the fridge. Can you blame them, Vreary? Ah, the angels of death at last. My escort back to human frailty. Well, took you long enough. Become the prophet. Take on his armor. Strike for your species, for humanity, and all its fumbling, half-made glory. Get out of there, Alcatraz. <laughs> yes, that's it. Go. Go. Save us all. <laughs> this is Jacob Hargreave to all cell personnel. Commander Lockhart is dead. I will be joining him shortly, and the PRISM facility is wired to explosively self-destruct. Subject Prophet is now your only hope of turning back the alien invasion. You will therefore discontinue hostilities and afford him every assistance you can as you evacuate this island. All PRISM facilities will explosively self-seal in 10 minutes. Your employee duties are terminated. Please exit via the indicated channels.
Where's the target?
to me, Alcatraz. Hargreef never bluffed in his life. This place is going up. You've got to get out of there. We gotta get off this fuck!
the life, I wonder, choirs of angels or a fiery pit? One unlearns these falsehoods over time, but the child who learned to fear hell is never really gone. To tell the truth, I think I've had quite enough of afterlives as it is. This one has been pretty purgatorial. Almost 50 years floating in super cool jelly like some medical specimen. Thoughts creeping like rats through the cramped silicon corridors of machines, trapped behind video screens and camera systems. Never sleeping, never resting, never ceasing to think about the world you no longer belong to. No, if this is a taste of the afterlife, I think simple oblivion will do nicely. All prison facilities will explicitly tell me Thank you.